Today, we are talking about whole house humidifier, drain, water, recirculation systems. So, on the left, you see a picture of a bypass style whole house humidifier. And on the right side, you see a picture of a powered fan humidifier. And both of these style humidifiers have a drain line at the bottom of them. And generally that drain line goes straight to a floor drain and out to the city sewer system. So how much water is actually wasted or goes down the drain? Well, again, it depends on what type of humidifier you have, how big your house is, how long and how often your humidifier runs, how well you maintain your humidifier, what the relative temperature and humidity is in your house already. But to give you an idea, some average numbers here, according to just humidifiers.com, uh, whole house humidifiers waste an average of five to eight gallons of water for every one gallon of moisture added to the air with the average output of a home humidifier in the range of seven to eight gallons per day. So that equates to roughly almost 2,000 gallons of water wasted per month. So depending on where you live, if your heater and humidifier runs, let's say, six months out of the year, 2,000 gallons times six, that's what, 12,000 gallons that's being wasted every season. So one recent improvement, um, drum humidifiers have been around for a while. Generally they had like a big foam uh, drum inside that would dip down into the water tray and pick the water up and then it would, uh, the humidity would be released into your, your duct system throughout your house. The issue with those type of drum humidifiers was they were they would get caked up with um, you know minerals and calcium deposits and basically stop producing humidity. Uh, there's a new design here. Uh, again, this is from Desert Spring. Uh, this is the DS3200 drum type uh, furnace humidifier, and you can see there's a series of plastic discs that make up the drum that slowly spin around. And uh, these don't build up as much of the calcium and sedi uh, sediment mineral deposits as the old school foam drums did. And this particular manufacturer claims to have almost 100% um, uh, water savings with this particular make and model, but it still does have a drain line coming out the bottom of it. So I'm sure there, there is times where you will get a tiny bit of water coming out of it. I do not know for sure on that. So if you've ever used one of these uh, uh, disc drum style uh, humidifiers, leave me a comment, let me know how it works. I'd love to see a picture or a video of it in action. Um, there are humidifiers on the market that have water saving uh, devices built inside of them. Uh, this particular humidifier is uh, April Air Model 400 and 400M and you see circled in red uh, there's two floats at the bottom of the uh, filter uh, water pad and so basically one float is the primary float and the other one is a backup and the way this works is as that little float cup fills up with water, the float uh, turns off the power to the water solenoid valve. And then when the float floats back down, the power is restored to the water solenoid valve. Uh, but, but here too, these also have a drain, so you will see some water coming out of them, but they do save water. And then they also have a water level sensor assembly, which is number nine in this picture, which most of them are, are basically like reed switches. However, majority of 
humidifiers on the market are the standard uh, bypass style or a powered fan style that don't have those floats inside. So if you have a standard uh, whole house humidifier with a powered fan, here's a solution for you. So the way this system works is you would tee off of the 120 volt uh, terminals that are supplying power to the humidifier fan and run your power wires, excuse me, down to an inline GFCI, as you've seen pictured here. And then on the output side of that inline GFCI, the power cable will go down into this five gallon bucket through that strain relief at the top of the bucket to a little recirculation pump that sits at the bottom of the bucket. Uh, these little pumps are basically just a, a pond pump uh, like you would see in a small pond or a water feature. And you can buy those at Lowe's or Home Depot or online. And the five gallon bucket sits on top of a two by six wooden riser. And then there's a drain with the ball valve at the bottom of the bucket. So you can drain the water out at the end of the heating season. And the way this works is the city water supply line, instead of going to the 24 volt solenoid valve, you would disconnect that solenoid valve and the water supply line would now go to this uh, float valve. You'll note there is an inline ball valve so you can control the flow rate or shut off the water in an emergency or for maintenance or to replace the float valve. So as the bucket fills up with water, the float will float up and then the float will close the valve once the bucket is full of water. So the pump never runs out of water. And the way this works, the, the pump pumps the water up to the humidifier pad. Water percolates down through the humidifier pad. Whatever water is not used and turned into humidity will come out the humidifier drain line and drain it back into this bucket. So no water ever gets wasted. You're, you're reclaiming 100% of your humidifier drain water this way. Uh, in the event of an emergency or something fails, you see there's an overflow line and you can have that overflow line go directly to your floor drain. And on that T, on the overflow line, there's a breather vent. So as the water level rises and falls and the pump is pumping the water to your humidifier, uh, it, it can flow properly. You're not creating a vacuum inside that bucket. And again, those pumps are so small and energy efficient and quiet you're not really gonna see any increase on your electric bill running that tiny little pump. And again, because it's controlled by the circuit board inside the humidifier, that water pump is only gonna come on when your humidifier powered fan comes on. So when the fan is off, that pump is off. Now, if you have a bypass type whole house humidifier, uh, you probably only have a 24 volt circuit and no 120 volts on your humidifier, obviously, because there's no fan. So here's a solution for that. Uh, you would plug into a 120 volt GFCI outlet and you would connect your power cable to a contactor. And you'd want to buy a contactor that's uh, rated for 120 volts and the coil on the side of the contactor needs to be ready for 24 volts and you would disconnect the wires from the uh, sol water solenoid valve because again you would no longer be using that and you would take those wires and land those wires on the the uh, coil on the side of the contactor as you see here pictured in blue and then again the 120 volt wires would come out of the contactor and attach, that's where you would attach to your uh, your pump. Or if your pump cable is long enough, it can go all the way to your contactor. But you also wanna make sure you hook up your ground wires, as you see here in green. And you can mount this to a, a wooden board, but uh, you, you wanna make sure you land your ground wires for safety. And again, ideally this needs to be plugged into a GFCI protected outlet or on a circuit that's protected by a GFCI breaker if none of those are true, then you'd want to go back 
to this slide and get one of those inline GFCIs and put that after the contactor between the pump and the contactor for safety. And this is exact same setup as we saw before. You would now install the water supply line at the ball valve on that float valve on the side of the five gallon bucket. There's a drain on the bottom. Same exact little pump would pump the water up to your humidifier pad. The humidifier drain line would come into the top of the five gallon bucket. So you're reclaiming 100% of your humidifier drain water. Um, a good practice would be to have an inline water filter for the supply line. So just before you connect your water supply line to the five gallon bucket, install one of these inline water filters and then I help capture a lot of the sediment and uh, reduce the amount of uh, minerals and calcium buildup to help protect the little water pump and to increase the lifespan of your humidifier water pad and reduce the amount of uh, sediment and calcium buildup on the water pad. And all these parts are readily available at Lowe's, Home Depot, McMasterCar.com, SupplyHouse.com, Granger.com, etc. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.